Welcome Leo Soul Tribe. This is your April 2024 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so always trust yourself more resonates. Leave what does not. It may resonate with you later on, so you may want to come back and watch it again during the month. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly. You're rocking awesome. Love your support. And uh, if you do want to show the love, you do enjoy my videos, make sure to uh, hit that like button subscribe to my channel, join our community and hit the notification bell so my readings come through to you in your feed. All right, so let's dive in. We're going to be pulling your essential energy from the beautiful journey of love oracle. We're then going to pull lots of uh, clarifiers and hang around to the end because we are going to be pulling a beautiful crowning energy. It's going to be really uplifting and motivating. So we're using the uh, journey of love oracle. Oh, that one wants to fly out. Oh, you've got Dream a little. She's very floaty and soft and she's kind of very wistful. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Leo, the divine wants to bless you with inspiration, just as a lover would come to the door of the beloved with a spontaneous gift of flowers. So dream a little. Let your imagination wander and wonder what if. What else could be breaking down the rigid walls of expectation? And just because something has been does not indicate it must continue in the same way. So dream a little and receive your spiritual gift. This oracle brings you guidance that a spiritual gift of inspiration is on its way or has recently been received. It isn't flight or fancy, it's a gift from the divine. Receive it and believe in new possibilities. And there's a poem here. It says, from unexpected meetings, we walked and shared our lifetime. A gentle, peaceful, quiet time reflected in our smile. We winged our way to distant places and walked along remembered faces of lives we knew we lived some time before. And like a bud about to flower, having reached its appointed hour, we watch ourselves begin to open in the warm touch of spring. Oh, beautiful. Kind of speaks to a beautiful like past life soulmate connection. It could be family, friend, lover. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. You pull diligence. So there's a bird flying over some fields here in different states of growth. So Putting in the time, the effort, the action to create what you want to create in your life, particularly around your finances, your career, anything you're working on. Oh, it's Bruce saying you have to have courage at this time. We'll see what that's about. Mm, okay, it's about taking risks, trying new things, doing new things, going after what it is you want. Stepping out of your comfort zone. You've also pulled standstill where there's an egret in a very still lake. So if there's any blockages or challenges on your path, Spirit's saying instead of trying to push through them, figure out a way to go around them. Don't let them stop you. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Enchanted Map Oracle. Oh, you pulled the Magical Map Shifter. So there's a divine plan at play right now, but we always have conscious choice about the action or direction we want to go in in life. There's a divine plan unfolding. Oh, you've also pulled Ride the Wave, and there's a couple of dolphins there, which is going with the flow. Dolphins always represent happiness as well. Uh, you know, not getting stuck on staying in the norm and a comfort zone go with the unknown yeah and just ease your way through to the unknown because it's related to taking risks well you've also pulled talismans so you may have something come across your path she's holding this beautiful blue orb of light that really catches your eye so it could be something as simple as a shell that you find or a crystal or some sort of memento that gives you a special boost of energy it makes you feel comforted or feel loved or just gives you that beautiful energy to that lifts you up. Mm, you've also put balancing act now. I'm not sure if you can see this, but 
on the tight rope there is a ship that's trying to balance on a circle or a ring so there needs to be balance between personal life and uh, your career your business whatever you're working on number 11 is new beginning so even though you may be working really hard you still need to create balance in other areas of your life including looking after self all right let's put you some clarifiers with the energy oracle first up let's have a look at you putting in the hard work and a divine plan at play okay you're at a crossroads or there's some sort of indecision you need to make. Um, do you go left? Do you go right? Mm -hmm. mm, it's related to opening up the door to your money. So related to a financial decision, career, business decision. Mm, it's pretty saying all you have to do is trust your intuition as to what feels right for you. Let's have a look at this indecision. Clear guidance, please. Oh, it's very scattered energy, Leo. You may need to pull your energy in. Oh, Spirit's saying you're going to have victory over this choice or this indecision. So whatever choice you make, it's going to be the right one for you. Let's have a look at you having courage. Again, you pull goddess of the moon, your intuition. So the courage to trust yourself. You don't need anybody else's advice or guidance. Just trust yourself. Oh, you've got these beautiful caring connections in your life to support you. And guys, you've got the message to be the thinking man, being very balanced and rational. Girls, that can represent someone to you, could represent your partner. Let's have a look at taking risks and riding the waves. Mm, you've got man holding a coin. Guys, because certainly going to bring a lot more security and stability into your life. Someone could be bringing you an offer. And right now you're experiencing signs of blossoming abundance. So you will get indications that whatever you're trying to do or work on is actually working. It may not be as fast as what you want it right now. And you may be feeling anxious that it's, it's not going to work out or it's not going to give you the financial rewards that you want. Let's have a look at this anxiety. Okay. You've got a woman holding a heart. Girls, I'm not sure if you're it's sitting directly under a thinking man. So are you having anxious thoughts about a connection or putting yourself out there for love? Any other guidance thing? I mean, you can flip that as well for the guides. You've got spirit watching over you, so there's nothing to be anxious about, spirit saying. Now, we'll just say if you do find yourself in any kind of states of anxiety or worry, I found this really useful um, mobile app by Innertune, and I have partnered with them recently. It's a free mobile app. You can just download it. And it has these gorgeous affirmations. So it can instantly create playlists for you of affirmations based on what area of life you want to work on or to boost yourself up. And you can look and it will create a playlist like for a minute long or five minutes long. You can set your phone so that it notifies you to remind you to listen to them. Or you can just, you know, tap on the app and whenever you're feeling a little bit low and boost yourself up. Yeah. Um, I love it. I'll be trying it out. I love it. So I'll put the link on here and down below if you want to go and check that out. All right, let's have a look at Talisman over here. So we've got a over on this side, there's a bit of a there's a balancing act going on around your energy and what you need to do. Um, there may be some obstacles in your path, and you may find a talisman in April that you really like. You got the angel of love wanting to touch your life. So there's certainly love on the cards. And the door to personal healing and happiness opening. So if you've been going through any kind of physical illness or injury, um, things will improve. Mm. you got man holding a heart. This is interesting. It's related to standstill. So if you're looking for love or you're connecting with someone and it's in those early stages of dating, it's going to be slow. And you may be anxious, oh, well, is it slow because they're not into me? It's just, it's just life unfolding, right? It is going to be slow. It's not going to be at your pace. So you just need to calm down, darlings. Breathe. Breathe. It's here. <laughs> oh, 
anymore. There are things that you have walked away from or are walking away from, but whatever you have walked away from, right, it's opened up your door to personal healing and happiness. So it was, it was a good choice for you. Let's have a look at this balancing act. Okay. You've got the heart chakra. So balancing practical parts of life and your finances with your passion, darlings. It's also come out with healer of the ages. So some of you may be working with a healer of the ages around your mental well-being, emotional well-being, physical well-being. Um, for others, that may be a path that you want to follow. So you may need to have a part-time job while you pursue that, yeah. Some of you are juggling two things, which is very practical, darlings. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Let's have a look at the top row that you put in the hard work. Divine plan unfolding. There's a focus on your coin and a decision to make and Spirit saying you're just going to need to trust yourself. Okay, you've got white Tara sensitivity, so you could be feeling emotionally a little sensitive at this time. And the star of fertility. Confirmation, it's a perfect time to kick off any new ideas, things that you want to do, projects, and regularly get yourself outside to get some time to self to balance your energies. Let's have a look at you having courage, which was mostly to do with taking risks and trusting your intuition. There's a beautiful love connection in or coming into your life. Well, Spirit's saying you're the magician in your life. You can do anything you want, Leo. There's nothing holding you back. You got the justice card. So anything that you're going through is going to be handled fairly. So there really isn't anything for you to worry about. Well, there's a golden opportunity coming in. There's new contracts coming in. Mm, finances and career. All right, let's have a look at you taking risks, but going with the flow of life. A little bit of anxiety going on around love. Oh, you got die. die. You've got Dana, High Priestess, guy or girl. You've got ancient wisdom within you. You can use in spiritual teaching. It's also just a reflection of your connection to spirit. And you've got Pell Divine Passion, being really honest with yourself about what you want to do. It's directly related to you taking risks. Okay, this is interesting. You pulled his old undying love, the love he shared wasn't wasted, it was received. So some of you in the past have left a love behind and you're opening up to new love. For others, you're in a very committed solid partnership already uh spirit saying don't let the past define the present right so you've got an open door to new love here let's have a look at this side where there's a bit of a balancing act going on between your passion and what you want to do as a passion and your practical side like looking after yourself financially um, a bit of possible Healing from either the heart chakra, but mostly it could be around your physical health and well-being. And um, love here, you love. Oh, you've got Tamara guiding children. So if you have children, they may need extra support and attention at this time. Oh, again, three messages you've got to take a leap of faith and go after what it is you want. So don't worry if you want to get into a new relationship and you're worried about what other people think right none of their business really um you're going through this beautiful transformation it's going to bring great blessings into your life the butterfly and some of you have healing abilities so if you want to follow a path of love and light and tap into your passions there's certainly confirmation here that you have divine gifts and talents within you all right let's pull you some guidance from the crystal healing deck Mm, Spirit saying again, you need to have patience. There's certainly divine timing going on in your life. Yep, <laughs> and to be very flexible, flexible and patient, darlings, with um, <laughs> yourself, with love, with your career, your finances. Yeah, you just got to regularly ground and balance your energy, and just keep those feet on Mother Earth mm -hmm. stable. Yeah, you're going through a letting go process. So whether you're letting friends go or um old connections in terms of love go it could be jobs you're letting go of so that you can follow your passion mm, just watch your shadow side right because your shadow side is the side of you that gets stuck in states of anxiety when it comes up spirit saying can you take a step back and relax you got fertility again on the bottom of the deck, which is around your ideas, your creative projects, what you want to do. 
squeeze some guidance from the messenger for it. Come on. Oh, you got love that you are different. Just love yourself how you are. Just show up as your authentic self. And a message to stay strong. Everything's happening for you. It just may be not in your timeline, darling. <laughs> and to know your power. You pull the horse. So step into your personal power, your strength. Always makes us feel better. And protect the wild and green. So you may be quite passionate about that, doing your part, like recycling. You may, you know, have a special charity or looking after animals, whatever it is for you. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. Mm, you got your crown chakra here, so you need to be in your higher states of consciousness. Out of your lower chakras. Oh, spirit saying darts would be really good for you. You might want to turn the music up loud and just have a little dance around your lounge room. Mm -hmm. And doing things are adventurous. This is your inner child that spirit's trying to fire up, darlings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's put you some guidance in terms of who you're connected to in the spirit realm divine gifts and talents oh you've got a wizard connecting with you from the other side magic and ritual oh some of you going through a spiritual awakening i'm going to say most of what's coming through is you're getting connected to your past life gifts and talents Oh, you've had a past life in ancient Egypt. You're highly connected, darlings. Highly connected. Most likely also got a connection to the star Sirius. You're a star seed. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's have a look at your life path guidance. I mean, it's up to us whether we want to embrace that spiritual side of self. You prefer to leave work at work. So here's the balancing act. Um, you really like to switch off once you've left work. So that it's your time, your family's time, your partner's time. And what you want, wants you. So whatever's in your heart, you can do and have. Oh, here we go. Helping and protecting animals. Wasn't that interesting that I mentioned that? Um, I must admit it's very passionate to me as well. They can be so vulnerable, animals. They really can. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the... Uh, Beautiful Divine Circus Oracle, gorgeous deck by Lana Fairchild. Now, if you do need extra support and guidance at this time, I have partnered with uh, Spiritual Blossom. They have an amazing and experienced team of psychics and clairvoyants. So if you do want to get a personal reading, I'll put their link on here and down below. Go check them out. Oh, I love this for you. It's absolutely perfect for your reading. You've pulled a gypsy columbine. It's all about rewilding yourself. Let's pull you up the guidance. Well, it's totally in alignment with you loving that you're different. It says, Leo, the free spirit in you is rewilding itself, shedding social conditioning and past patterns of behaviour. It is shaking off socialization and emerging in you like a snake shedding a skin. The wild one within isn't a savage. It's raw, yes, but also wise, authentic, beautiful, and with a deep instinctive knowing as to what you must be. Can a bird ever be truly happy whilst trying to be a fish? True freedom is to be truthfully yourself. Politeness and people pleasing, not out of respect, but out of fear that you will otherwise be rejected is a form of social conditioning that dulls the wild one within. And if you reject that conditioning in favour of rewilding, of getting in touch with your true instincts and nature, you will exchange a lukewarm tolerance from others for their passionate admiration and love. And for those that cannot love you, that are afraid of how much life is in you, then let them be. They do not belong in your world, nor you in theirs. The jungle of life is a vibrant, colourful and exciting place, but not everybody is ready to live there as yet. And that's just the way of things sometimes. So this oracle comes to you with a message. It's now time to let yourself off the hook, to forgive and forget, to allow what's been to have been and to start again. No regrets, no fear, no doubt. It's time to heed the call of the wild and ask yourself, what would set my spirit free? 
And if you cannot answer that bold question quite yet, then it's time to get in touch with that freedom-seeking wild one within. So dance, play, sing, drum, wear a feather in your hair and go barefoot. Let your instincts rather than your intellect guide you. Swap the certainty of the ego for the mystery of the soul. A new song wants you to dance to it. There are no choreographed routines to learn, yet your body will create the steps as you go. Will you free your gypsy soul and dance to music you've never heard before? Oh, how gorgeous. Um, there is a suggestion here for you to do a little bit of dancing. Isn't that interesting? You pull dance and be a little wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There was an affirmation here. It says, Gypsy free, gypsy in me, my wild body liberated, sets my spirit free. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. All right, Leo, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Take it easy. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.